Hello guys, today I will introduce stage flow. This is my first video using English to introduce something. So, okay. Um, I have already opened the Simulink. We add a stage flow chart here. And today we will make a pose with modulation. Mm, firstly, we need source or a constant block for the input. With a constant input, we can change the range from 0 to 100%. That means the modulation can, from, uh, can change from 0 to 100. OK, open the stateful chart. Firstly, we add a chart and a default transition. Okay, the default transition is very important, so don't forget it. Name it, name one. Entry. Okay, that is interaction. Hmm. Okay, firstly we can we can add a two state. Why two state? The pulse width modulation. Um, there are two values. A value, two values, one and zero. So, in state one, we can define the output is one. Oh, sorry. And uh, in state two, the output is zero. And with uh, with the uh, outgoing path, the state can change from state one to state two, or transfer from state two to state one. Here, we can write the condition with square bracket. So in which case, the state will from state one to state. Two consistent from state one to state two. Um, okay, maybe maybe we use a ten percent. Ten percent means. Hmm. Okay. Um, actually, we need a timer, a counter. Um, ten. Okay. Mm, ten. That is ten. Ten is the input. So in this case, we need to define another variable i. I is one, and the during during means while the state act is active, the state one will uh, would be would already running. The during for during action, we write i is i plus one. So, okay, and uh, when when transfer, okay, from state two to state one, the condition is I. Okay, we need we also need here during a during action. So the I will would be added mm, 100, maybe we don't need 199. Okay. Um, in these two blocks, in these two charts, we have two var variable defined, uh, three um, plus I. So open the explorer, three variable. Number one in, in is input. We can change arms. Oh yeah. Since uh, the uh, uh, okay, and the date type is double. Number two. Output is output. Oh my God. Why? 
double uh, local variable so it's also double so okay so we can see here the 10 is the, is the input we need the output output is, is scope okay run it So good. We want to change. The, we can modify the the step size. We use a fixed step and uh, zero point one. So mm, so what happened? In my entry, output is is there is one. Oh, I'm sorry. This is not correct. This is uh, the right one. So, oh, okay. The step size zero comma zero point one to small. We change this. And uh, run it one more time. Ah, it is seem correct. Okay. Yeah. I if run one more time. Could we can change the value. Maybe fifty five. Yeah, it's bigger. Seventy seven. Yeah, it's great. Forty four. But 100. Yeah, 100 is not correct. Why? Mm, stop it. 100. We need it here. We need to write here. In. It's, need, it's not uh, equal. 100. Okay. So 100 is 1 is correct. And 44, then 2, or 1, the 0, uh, 0 is not, is not right. Why? Because the state, the state flow chart will run for at least, uh, at least for one time. So we need to, we need to define a block for 0. And in this condition is in equal zero. In another path, another result for zero. The entry, the output is zero. And uh, ah, I forget. Here we need to. We need another path. That means when input is zero, it can it can transfer from state one to the start point. That is important. Okay, run for more one more time. Uh, zero. Yeah, it's correct. The one one hundred. Correct. Fifty five. Correct. Two. Correct. Zero. Ah, zero is not correct. Why? Zero is not correct. Ah, so this the order execution order here. The number one has the highest priority. It is that is important. So join for one. Um, one more time. Five. One hundred. Zero. Four. Zero. Ah, great. We have finished it. We finished the uh, stable chart. Okay, thank you.